Good morning. Welcome to the homestead. Well, today started off sad. Got a phone call early this morning that my stepfather had passed away. We knew he was sick and we knew his time was drawing nigh, but um, still sad. He was in no pain, no meds, and God just had mercy on him. Now he's with my mom. My mom passed away August of 2020. My dad passed away in March of 2021, and now my stepfather. And so, no more parents. Life's going to sure be different. Anyhow, we got work to do today, so I'm glad you're with us today on this day. Stay tuned, see what we end up doing. Good morning. Welcome to the homestead. Sure glad you came back to see us. Well, it is really cold this morning. I don't know how cold, but the Arctic breeze doesn't help. Sun's out, the skies are clear, it's a beautiful day. Except for the cold. Anyway, got several things that need to get done today. One of those is to um, remove the window air conditioner from the, the coach and put it away for the winter. Certainly not going to need it now. Um, and it'll allow us to seal the coach up completely uh, for winter time. We have some batting insulation that we put down in the bays to protect the water pipes and that kind of stuff. So I think maybe we should get on that. And that's that. Now all I gotta do is just put it away. Okay, I told you about those curtains. Well, they finally came in and we're gonna hang them on the walls on both sides and um, kind of be a sound barrier as well as just uh, a nice looking curtain. So, Lee's gonna hang them for me. The hooks that we actually purchased to hang them, um, well, we kind of left them back in the city. So, we're just gonna temporarily put them up um, with uh, something else to kind of let them start to unwrinkle and uh, we'll put the hooks up later so let's do this Okay, we're not doing both sides because I thought there was two panels in each package that I ordered, but there's only one panel in each package that I ordered. And being that I bought these on Black Friday sale, I'm not going to be able to buy the other two for the other side of the wall. So we're just going to go ahead and cover the window and be good with that and I'll figure something else out for the other side of the wall. Whoops. <sighs> I saw that coming. <laughs> Hope the other side doesn't do it and will knock the camera down. Okay, I like it. Looks good. Now, we can keep the cat from climbing them all the better. And uh, I've got the wallpaper for the back, but we'll do that another day because we've got some other work to do when it warms up. Uh, Lee's got things to do. And uh, it is really cold today. It was like, what, 38 degrees this morning at 7 a.m. And so I don't know what the temperature is now, but it's, it. it's still kind of cold. 
So anyway, it's going to be a nice environment in here. Very pretty. Hmm. Okay, let's get on to something else. All right, well, we're on to the next task. And that's we're going to clean up the front of our property on the street side, on the outside of our fence. Um, just a bunch of big, tall weeds, bush things that grew up over the summer. Uh, we're going to get those out of there. To do that, we're going to use the tractor and a little trailer to haul the stuff to a new burn pile. Um, and I need, we need to put gas in the track, little lawn tractor anyway. So, let's do it. Lee and I are going to clean all of the tree branches and the brush all along this section of the yard. And so um, it should go fairly easily. It's not tons, but there is a lot. And so let's get on this. So there's this vine that's in here that I'm trying to get out. And I thought I would be able to just pull it and pull it up. But that's not the case. And it is all over the place on the ground. And then it all kind of grows together up through the, the bushes and around the fence and up in the tree. And I thought it was going to come down fast, but it was a lot more work than I would have thought. I tugged and I pulled and I... Got frustrated trying to get that vine up. Every time I'd cut a bunch of it where it came out of the ground, I'd tug some more and find some more coming out of the ground. That thing was a pest. I'm glad it's gone. I hope it doesn't come back. Only in his dreams. That sucker's totally coming back.
we've done a lot of clearing, but now I think it's time that we clean a lot of the piles up that we made in the culvert. I think you can see that mess. It actually goes all the way to here, which you can't see. So we're gonna need to pick all that up. It's looking good though along this side of the fence line, but uh, we only went, what, 20 feet, 30 feet? there to here and we still got all that to do which I don't know that we're going to get to it today because it just seemed like a simple little task but it's a lot of work involved so we'll see but I think we better get to cleaning some of this stuff up and that we've dropped into the culver. <music> it's coming along looks like a couple more loads though of that uh, with that uh, tractor and the cart to get it cleared up also um, what we think we're gonna do is stop right here after we get this cleaned up and not keep going because it's a lot more work than we thought it was and what we're gonna do is transition into something else or call it a day we got to go find out what time it is anyhow Oh, look, I'm talking to you with a branch in your face. Hello. We'll be back.
Okay, I was digging in the dirt, you know, and I found this little little wallet pocketbook thing. It says checks to cash, and uh, I got excited, but when I ripped it open, nothing in it was straws. <laughs> Must have belonged to a little kid, because who else would have straws in a little purse? And then I found this bottle buried in the ground, like this. And uh, I guess they're right. It does take forever for something like this to decompose. But this bottle looks so old that I don't think they make this type of plastic anymore for the bottles. So, it isn't decomposing. So, I guess we gotta hand it to some of those people that uh, are all worried about plastic. But like I've always said, you worried about plastic, then start making things in glass again. Glass. It's recyclable. It's reusable. It's a better product. But who listens to me?